The Vault of Glass has always held many mysteries, a place so vast, so open, it was no surprise that it created a community dedicated to exploring it. On November 29, 2014, the community known as Raid Secrets was formed. It was there that people shared their ideas, experiences, and their theories of what lies hidden inside the vault. But the one thing that many wanted to see, the one thing many wanted to explore, whether there was rewards or not, what many wanted was to see behind its walls. I was the first player to see everything behind them, and this is my journey. Our journey begins on Venus Patrol. The reason you want to choose patrol is because the bears and walls that you usually encounter in the raid are reduced, making it much easier to navigate outside the map. So once you make your way to the Vault of Glass entrance, you can use your Sparrow to dismount inside. And then using a sword to help you, you can reach the outside of the map by jumping through this hole in the wall. From here on, you want to make your way to the Trial of Kabir. From here, Guardian, the first part of our journey will begin. Before going to the Templar's well, we'll need to take a sparrow in there. If you've seen my barriers video, the first barrier we'll be dealing with is a speed barrier, meaning we need enough speed to bypass it so we don't die to it. The idea is to go under the map and fly back up with the sparrow as indicated here on the map. Getting close to the walls though can mean certain death as a pull barrier and speed barrier can kill you. While avoiding getting close, we want to land in this area on top. From what I've experienced and explored, these zones are under influence of pull barriers and will guarantee death upon stepping there. At the height that we're at, riding our sparrow down will not be enough speed, but did you know that a sparrow by itself will pick up speed faster than your guarding can when falling? Now, it begins. Once you've made it to the top, you want to be careful not to go too far as you can get hit by the pull barriers as mentioned earlier on my map. Following my path exactly, you want to navigate through these bumps and dips until we reach the right side area. And now, part 2 of our journey starts, Guardian. Currently, 
the Gorgon's maze is below us and it is surrounded by pool bears. Simply dropping in, the pool bear will drag you in with enough force to kill you on impact. If you are not aware, you cannot sparrow fly while inside a barrier. The barriers also prevent you from going in through the side. The only way I could think of was to last minute use a side burst on my sparrow to avoid fatal impact. All in into the loading zone provides you a second to react. My only advice from here on out, stay to the right, don't go too far left, or too low because that'll kill you. If you've made it this far, Guardian, I congratulate you. Now, RNG Rock is coming up. And there below is the RNG Rock. The reason I call it as such is because the loading zone is right next to it in the corner. Loading the zone with the front of your sparrow can cause this to happen. The way to bypass this is to load the zone in reverse on the top of the rock, but even getting on top has its problems. You absolutely need your sparrow for the next part. Once you load the map and your sparrow is still with you, you've now arrived at the third and final part of our journey. This map from above shows more or less the area we're about to see. These are the pool bears that I know of so avoid getting close to these areas. Much like the first part, we have to drop down and dismount our sparrow to get the speed needed to bypass the speed barrier at the bottom. Once past the barrier, we have to make our way up while avoiding getting close to any environments. Once high enough, you're going to want to land in any of these areas and avoid getting close to the edges. To add, this area is safe to land on as well if you wish to do so. So, also, while doing this run, 
I ran into some unexpected issues while doing this. I wish you the best of luck, Guardian. You'll be needing it. All throne rooms are the same structure outside, so it doesn't matter which one you want to see first. Just make sure when you land on them, it's on the safe areas that I had marked on the map earlier. So referring back to the map, once you land on top, you'll want to go near this rock with your sparrow. If you've seen my berries video, you'll be using the technique to sparrow beach through the floor. Once you do it successfully, enjoy the view. It took over two years to finally find the way inside of here. Two years! And it was quite a journey. Although, to many, there would be no point in doing this. For us, this is our way of playing the game. To see this game that we cherished and played for these years, to see it in such a different way that has been a joy to me, to the community, and we thank everyone that helped create this game. We look forward to what the future holds for us.